Sharpskin here, your Sega Genesis geek, and today we're talking about dolphins on the Sega Genesis. Yeah! Echo the Dolphin, which is a great fucking game. Oh, it's so wonderful. You get to play as a dolphin and swim through the oceans. Oh, it's so much fun. I mean, this game is kind of like an open world game. And, and it's wonderful. One of the first games to just really let, let you swim around and explore, you know? We go all over the place, swim through little caves and shit like that. It's, it, it's great. It's a great fucking game. I love it. You know, and the game teaches you stuff to learn. You know, like I remember when this game came out. I knew kids that didn't know that fucking dolphins breathed air, right? Well, well, this game teaches you that because it's an important game mechanic, right? That fucking echo's gotta breathe air. You know, so you can't swim around too much in the ocean. You gotta keep going up and get some air to breathe, right? Yeah. You've got two energy bars there. One of them is your life bar, the other one's your air bar, right? You gotta keep breathing air. I also know a lot of kids didn't get very far in this game back in the day. I remember hearing a lot of people couldn't get past the fucking octopus, right? The octopus was just about as far as they ever got in the game. Which, ah, yeah, yeah, the octopus is pretty tough. You gotta swim very slowly past him, right? Very, very slowly. Hey, it, it's really hard. It, it is fucking hard, right? Yeah, it, it's kind of hard. But it's still such a fucking awesome game. It's so much fun, you know? It's not really an action game. It, it's more a game where you got to figure out what you're supposed to do, right? Like, like sometimes you got to, like, grab objects and use them to do other things. Or you got to find things, right? It, it, it's an exploration game. It's a problem-solving game. And it's so much fucking fun. Yeah! And uh, when I was about to do the video about this game, I, w I, I wanted to get Echo the Dolphin for the Sega CD, right? But one of you guys actually sent it to me. Just sent it to me out of the blue. Like, what a fucking crazy coincidence. You happen to fucking send me Echo the Dolphin CD right when I was thinking about getting it for myself. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Now, the thing about Echo the Dolphin CD on the Sega CD is it really is just the same fucking game. Yeah, same game. <laughs> Except it's got CD quality music and sound effects and yeah, oh yeah, the music is really beautiful. something you could do in the first game, right? Now, Echo works with, like, a code system to continue the game, right? But if you put in the code Life Fish, right, and just start the game like regularly, you will be able to breathe underwater, right? That's pretty cool cheat there. Yeah, Life Fish. Life Fish. Let's Echo breathe underwater. But in Echo Tides of Time, Echo can just do that, right? Yeah, it doesn't need to breathe. Then there's also these parts in the game where you're swimming through the ocean, like like in 3D, right? And you can jump out of the water, which is awesome. Oh, wow, these, these parts look really cool. And the fun, too, because you, like, swim through rings, and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta shoot fucking shit with, with, with your, your, your sonar blast. Echo Tides of Time is pretty fucking awesome. Then they made Echo Jr., which is really a game for little, little kids, you know. It's supposed to be, like, for kindergartners or something. But I think it's a fucking great game, you know, because you could actually play as a killer whale. Yeah, killer whale swimming around. That's fucking awesome. I'm an orca. Great. But, uh... I mean, wait, 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 but in this game, you don't have any energy bar at all. Yeah. I mean, the first Echo, you got two energy bars, one for life, one for air. 
and then in the Echo 2, you got just one energy bar, and in Echo Junior, there's no energy bar. That's right, no energy bar at all. You don't need to breathe, and you can't die. <laughs> so really, the game's all about problem solving, and you got to do different stuff in order to get past each level. And it's usually about finding shit, you know. You got to swim around and look for shit, and uh, m maybe grab something and take it somewhere. Yeah, it's actually a lot of fucking fun. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. That's the Echo the Dolphin trilogy on the Sega Genesis. Echo the Dolphin, Echo Tides of Time, and Echo Junior. Which, even though it's a game for little kids, I actually think it's a lot of fucking fun. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? I didn't even know that there's actually an Echo the Dolphin game on the Sega Dreamcast. Yeah. I, I mean, I didn't know until I got the Dreamcast, and I was looking at the different games they got for it. And they got a fucking Echo the Dolphin game. I had to fucking get it. Oh yeah, and here it is. Echo the Dolphin, Defender of the Future. Oh shit. And you know what? It's fucking awesome. I love it. It's great. You get to play as a dolphin and swim around in the vast ocean and just explore. It's a really beautiful game, too. It, it looks great. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, like in the first fucking level, right? You're swimming around, and then you run into a giant fucking whale. Oh my god, it's a fucking whale. What the fuck? It's a big fucking whale. Oh my god, look at the size of this guy. Oh, he's big. Hey, what's up? What's up, Mr. Whale? You're friendly, right? Yeah, of course you are. Of course you are. What's up? Look at the size of this guy. Oh, there's another one. Oh, it's a little baby whale. Hey, what's up, baby whale? Yeah, and then, then while you're swimming around, some some crazy shit goes on. Like, oh shit! What, what, what the fuck? What the fuck's going on? The fuck is going on? Oh, what the hell? And and then do these rocks fall? I mean, something's happening. And uh, oh, aliens from outer space shattered the crystal. Oh my god! And then, then you gotta fucking rescue the uh, baby whale. From, from 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 inside the rocks, right? Baby whales trapped behind some rocks. You gotta go get some dolphins to help them, right? Where's the other dolphin? There's another dolphin. Come you over here. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey. Baby dolphin's trapped. Show us the way. We'll help. Okay. Hey, come on. What's happening? Oh, yeah. And then you pick up two extra dolphins. And yeah, you can do some synchronized swimming with Echo and these two other dolphins. It's great. Synchronized swimming. Yeah, baby. Synchronized dolphin swimming. <laughs> it's so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Enough screwing around. Let's go rescue that fucking whale. Oh, let's go on ahead. Yeah, look at that. One more time. Yeah! Mmm, nice. Guy's got some moves. Where's this one? Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, there you go. Yeah. And then the two other dolphins help you rescue the whale, and... Yeah, super awesome. Yeah. Motherfucking baby whale. And yeah, we did it. This game's super fucking fun. But I mean, the concept of the game, the story behind it, is just fucking batshit crazy, right? I mean, I don't even know what the fuck is going on. So, I mean, what? Uh, it takes place in the future or something? Where man and fucking dolphins are living together in peace? And, and then, like, there's something with, like, Humans are in little bubbles that are floating off the earth because there's an evil alien invasion coming called the Foe. Creatures known only as the Foe regarded the earth with envious eyes. For humans and dolphins were their hated enemy. And, and what? Humans are just transported off the earth in little, little bubbles? Right? And the dolphins are left 
to protect the Earth, right, from, from the evil alien invasion. And in this time of crisis lived a young dolphin named Echo. He was destined to become the only hope for humans and dolphins. Echo, defender of Earth's future. E Echo is what? Echo, defender of Earth's future. Oh, that's what it means. Defender of Earth's future. Okay. Because <clears throat> he's defending the future of Earth from the foe, from space, and stuff like <clears throat> okay, I, I guess that's what the title means. Echo, Defender of the Future. He's defending the future of the Earth, which doesn't have any people on it anymore because they all got transported off Earth. I, I guess he's defending the planet for when all the humans come back, defending the future of the Earth. I, I don't know. The story's fucking crazy. But the game is great. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, it's so awesome. I was swimming all over the place, doing doing all kinds kinds of crazy shit. I love this game. 3D, awesome, beautiful, open, fucking underwater worlds to explore. It's so fucking cool. Oh yeah, and it's crazy nuts too. It's weird, right? You gotta do a lot of weird things in the game. And uh, while I'm playing through it, I just got to a part where now Echo's got like gold armor. Yeah, got like gold armor and shit. It's weird. It's very weird. It's also weird that right when I started fucking working on this video, when you guys fucking sent me Echo the Dolphin Sega CD game, like I was just going to fucking get that, you know? <clears throat> and also fucking weird is that Guru Larry just uploaded a video called uh, Echo the Dolphin's Fucked Up Inspiration, right? Which is uh, about the fucked up inspiration behind Echo the Dolphin. Like the guy who fucking invented the game was inspired by some very strange shit. So I'm not going to spoil it for you, you know, I'm going to let you guys check out the video. I've got a link down in the description, but it involves some scientists on LSD doing strange experiments to fucking communicate with dolphins. And it gets very, very weird, right? I'm not going to fucking tell you about it, but you should check out the video because it gets fucked up, right? In fact, the name Echo, right, it comes from one of those scientists on acid, right? Echo is apparently an acronym that means Earth Coincidence Control Office. Earth Coincidence Control Office? I mean, think about that. I mean, he thinks that there's like a, some force that controls coincidences? How, how much drugs were they on? Oh my god, it, it gets really weird, right? But you gotta check out the video. I mean, there, there, there's some crazy coincidences going on right now, I mean... He just uploaded that video about Echo the Dolphin while I'm working on a video. And dude sends me a fucking Echo on Sega CD. It's great. It's, it's, it's crazy. What's with the... Earth Coincidence Control Office. Very, very weird. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> crazy coincidences. <sighs> but anyway, till fucking next time, keep it fucking real.